The Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, FMI, has finalized a contract with MBDA France to procure two VL MICA fire units, marking a crucial step in Denmark's re-establishment of ground-based air defense, JBL, capabilities. This procurement follows a recommendation from Denmark's Chief of Defense and is part of the Accelerations Fund an initiative aimed at fast-tracking critical military purchases. Each VL MICA launcher is equipped with four missiles and can simultaneously engage up to four incoming targets within six seconds. The system offers interception capabilities at ranges reaching 20 kilometers and altitudes up to 30,000 feet, providing a 360-degree defensive perimeter. Signed in July 2025, the deal involves refurbished VL MICA systems, with deliveries expected by mid-2026 and operational readiness targeted for the end of 2026. Approximately 30 personnel will operate each fire unit. The contract includes a 25% industrial offset requirement and complements Denmark's broader air defense modernization program, which also incorporates NASAMS and IRIS-T SLM systems. This initiative stems from a political agreement made in April 2024, committing 19 to 25 billion kroner over 2024 to 2033 to rebuild Denmark's JBL, a capability that has been absent since the Hawk missile system's retirement in 2004. For nearly two decades, Denmark's air defense relied exclusively on fighter jets and naval assets. The new acquisition provides a temporary ground-based defense while a more permanent, multi-layered system is developed. VL MICA and NASAMS will form the initial short-range defensive layer, integrated with the least NASAMS and a future IRIS-T SLM system acquired through the European Sky Shield Initiative, ESSI. Denmark plans to select a long-range missile system, either the Franco-Italian SAMP-TNG or the US Patriot PAC, 3 MSE, by 2025, aiming for operational deployment by 2028. Manufactured by MBDA France, the VL MICA is a short-range, vertically-launched surface-to-air missile system engineered to defend against diverse aerial threats including guided bombs, cruise missiles, helicopters, UAVs, and aircraft. Each missile weighs 112 kilograms, measures 3.1 meters in length, and uses either infrared or radar seekers. The system's quick salvo firing ability enables it to engage multiple targets rapidly. Deployment requires roughly 10 minutes, and reloading takes about 15 minutes with two operators. Designed for durability, the system's sealed containers have a 25-year shelf life and require minimal maintenance beyond a routine five-year check. A complete VL MICA fire unit includes a platoon command post, a tridimensional radar vehicle, and three to six vertical launchers mounted on vehicles. Command and control functions are managed through a tactical operations center, which oversees real-time engagements, mission planning, and communication with higher command echelons. The system is ITAR-free, based on air-to-air -air missile technology, and can operate autonomously or as part of a larger integrated air defense network. During peacetime, these units will be stationed at Skullstrup and Spritstrup air bases but can be rapidly deployed to meet evolving operational demands. Mobility allows repositioning to shield critical military and civilian infrastructure depending on threat levels. The selection of VL MICA came after a competitive evaluation of 10 proposals from countries including Germany, Norway, France, Italy, Turkey, and Israel. The chosen systems, VL MICA, NASAMS, and IRIS TSLM, were selected for their operational capabilities, delivery schedules, NATO interoperability, and supply security. The Danish Ministry of Defense highlighted the importance of supporting the European defense industry while urgently addressing air defense vulnerabilities. Due to the pressing security situation, procurement processes were accelerated, bypassing standard tenders, with expected additional costs estimated between 10 to 15 percent above average. Personnel recruitment and training are underway in parallel, with system deliveries spanning from late 2025 to 2027. Denmark's JBL strategy envisions a layered defense, short-range systems like VL MICA and NASAMS will protect critical assets such as bridges and military units, while the forthcoming long-range system will secure larger population centers and vital infrastructure. Short-range systems operate within a 5 to 50 kilometer engagement range, 
while long-range solutions target threats beyond 50 kilometers, including certain ballistic missiles. Complementing these efforts, Denmark has contracted Rainmetal to supply 16 Skyranger 30 very short-range air defense units mounted on Piranha V vehicles between 2026 and 2027, aimed at countering low-altitude threats like drones and helicopters. Since early 2024, Denmark has significantly increased its defense budget, allocating 50 billion kroner via the Accelerations Fund and for urgent acquisitions and a total of 120 billion kroner through 2033 for comprehensive military modernization. This includes procuring CV-9035 MKIIC infantry fighting vehicles from Sweden and bolstering support for Ukraine. The country's defense policy now emphasizes rapid capability expansion in response to growing security challenges in the Baltic region and concerns over future U.S. defense commitments in Europe. Denmark's ground-based air defense systems will integrate with NATO's NATNAMS framework, enabling data sharing, coordinated sensor coverage, and joint response operations. The newly acquired VL MICA, Iris T SLM, and NASM systems are fully compatible with NATO standards, reinstating Denmark's national ground-based air defense presence for the first time in over 20 years.